So this is from Courtney. What do you think are the three most common things that turn a friendship toxic? And how do you know when a friendship is broken beyond repair? Oh. Thank you, Courtney. Yeah, Courtney asked a complex question. So the three most common things that turn a friendship to toxic really depend on the individual, of course. Uh, but I think most friends would be very upset if their friend was um, not understanding, not sensitive, took advantage of them, uh, wasn't available. So there are a number of things that can kind of make a friendship feel uncomfortable That's when it's good. not yeah. reciprocal. I think you're right. Those are, those are very much it, yeah. And, and how do you know when a friendship is broken beyond repair? Yeah, sometimes it's very hard to know whether a friendship is broken beyond repair, Courtney. And I always think it's important not to give up on a friendship too soon because once you go down that road, you really can't go back. So I think you need to think very, very carefully before you end a friendship. But sometimes there are signs that are there. There are signs that a friendship is toxic. You might feel uncomfortable with the person. You might feel like you don't want to get together with them. You may feel bored when you're with them. Or sometimes it's even visceral. You may feel uncomfortable or have headaches or stomach aches. But the signs are there. And I think everybody is so intent on kind of keeping our friendships that sometimes we ignore the signs. Right, right.